Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today we're going to be doing... I don't know what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Let's just flow with it and see what comes in Pisces. <sighs> Alright, okay, so what we're doing is going to be a um, past, present, and future oracle reading. Apparently. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for hanging out. And thank you for clicking on this video. Let's see. Universe Spirit, what are the most important messages that the Pisces watching this video right now need to know and be made aware of? The number eight could be very relevant for you. It has been showing up time and time again. Eight, eight, eight. Um, the eight of pentacles showing up a bunch. The eight of wands showing up a bunch. And that is uh, a number of the, of course, infinity, but also prosperity as well. So let's see. Some of you here are in that moment in which you're wondering how is something going to come through. You may feel like you're in the darkness. You may feel like you are in the void, suspended in the nothingness, <laughs> and just sort of waiting to see how things will unfold. Some of you are enjoying this darkness. Others of you perhaps are feeling like it's a little bit lonely. Something very unexpected is showing up here in the near future. Very unexpected. And right now, it's like you can sense it, but you can't put two and two together. It's like you can't put your finger on it, but you can kind of tell that something major is around the corner here, Pisces. There is going to be some kind of astrological alignment. I am not an astrologer, so, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But something seems to be happening here that is going to truly open a gateway for you. Things are going to align in such a way that will show you a perspective you've never seen before. For some of you, this is going to be about your medicine. For some of you, this is going to be about sisterhood, relationships between women, your ancestry. Um, some of you are going to just kind of get a glimpse, a perspective that changes everything. See how these portals are opening up here? Some of you have been very, very patient for quite some time. So much so that you may have felt like those... Alignments were never really going to happen. Those portals were never really going to open up. Those breakthroughs were just kind of wishful thinking. Some of you may still feel like you're in that space, in that darkness. Thinking, am I tripping? Am I making everything up? Am I really going to see some kind of positive breakthrough here? Or is it just nothing? But there's something very unexpected. We got the blue moon card in the near future. So something that rarely ever happens. You know that saying, once in a blue moon? Well, that's what you're getting here in the, new, the near future. Once in a blue moon, some kind of miracle happens. Once in a blue moon, um, you know, some kind of breakthrough. So let's see what these have to say. So this one, this first one, this beautiful, stunning illustration. Look at this. Come on. It's absolutely stunning. This one is talking about your recent past. The path. The way is open for you. The path is illuminated. Begin the journey now. Respond and take action. We must be courageous and move forward. So this is the space in which you have been. 
you have been open, you have been responsive, you have been courageous, and you have taken the actions that you felt were needed in order to reach a point in which things change. Getting unstuck. See how the portal is there? It's floating. And she has created this um, rather, you know, shaky ladder to get there. Every single one of those steps that she moves towards the portal, the vortex, is scary. And she's in a position in which she's moving, you know, one thing after the next. And that is the journey that you have been in. But let's see what this one has to say because this one is really interesting it's almost that space of nothingness in which everything is possible right where there is no certainty all there is is possibility so let's see the card is called darkness and it is associated to the long night moon phase It's almost the last card. It's the one before the last one. So that also lets us know that you're almost there, right? And as I say this, eight in the timer, interestingly enough. You are entering a time of introversion, a leaner time, or a time to turn inward to plan and strategize. It is time to do shadow work, which will bring big dividends later on. Release what no longer works for you. The darkness needs to be there as much as the light. One of the earliest human fears is said to be the fear of the dark. We fear what we can't see, and we fear what may be hiding. In reality, the dark is, an important, is as important as the light. In nature, there are many nocturnal animals that go about the business of living under the moon, not the sun. The darker times of the lunar and seasonal cycles signal a time to naturally turn inwards, to stay close to home, to look closely at ourselves, and to plan for the light. Kind of like a hermit energy, right? In the tarot. In the northern her hemisphere, the long night moon usually occurred in December around the winter solstice. This is when the nights are indeed long and the hours of sunshine short. It's cold and people will begin to be snowed in. It is during these long nights we can begin to do our shadow work, undertaking the self-reflection needed to identify what isn't working for us and what may be causing us pain. This could be a bad habit, a destructive pattern, a recurring useless fear, or anything that holds us back from being the best we can be. Once we see these aspects of ourselves in the dark, we can simply decide whether they must go. We can decide to release them once and for all, if that's the case. We get to transform. Companion stone or metal would be onyx. So Pisces, you are in this moment. You get to choose. Some of you, you know exactly what you want. And what you want is in the other side of doing some shadow work. So you can find yourself a practitioner to help you with that, or you can do it yourself if you already know how that goes. Um, shadow work, going deep within, you know, that's, that's what's going to bring the answers. And then for the near future, we get here the unexpected, which is super intriguing to me. So we see two women, one laying uh, her head on the other one's shoulder. They're both um, topless, but they're wearing long white skirts. They have short hair. One of them has a tattoo on her back. And they're kind of like looking through what seems also like a vortex into some kind of like very beautiful, magical, enchanted forest. The message is the following. No matter how well you plan, there is always room for the unexpected to occur. Build your resilience as rare 
Occurrences can happen. A visitor you may have not seen in a long time may re-enter your life. Affirmation, I trust in myself and in life. In Old Farmer's Almanacs, a blue moon was described as the third full moon in a season that has four full moons. The newer and now more accepted description is that a blue moon is when there are two full moons in one calendar month. Either way, it is a rare occurrence and has inspired the saying once in a blue moon when describing an event or behavior that happens rarely. The energy and power of the blue moon can be taken advantage of by setting intentions on the moons of things that you really want but have never felt could happen. I refer to big wishes, the almost miracle stuff we would both be delighted and surprised about if it manifested. After seeing blue moon intentions, though, don't sit, don't sit there hoping it will just happen. Try to make a clear, practical steps towards these big, seemingly faraway intentions and help the universe along. Some of us love surprises, some of us don't. But I don't think anyone can go through life without sometimes having the unexpected happen to them. While some professions in particular, such as the military and medicine, try to plan for everything that could go wrong, life sometimes finds a way to outsmart the most thorough of plans. This is simply life. Although it is important for us to know where, how, and why we are traveling down a particular path, we should always make room for an unexpected... What? We should always make room for and expect the unexpected. Companion stone or metal benitoite. A very rare blue gem. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Okay. All right, so yes, Pisces, something's cooking. Something is happening here. And it's like, it, it, it really does have something to do with astrology. I can't stop seeing all these planets and moons and everything aligned and portals and things. There is something very unexpected that is going to happen here. I feel, I just heard in my mind the cherry on top. So that's pretty cool. Just be patient. Allow yourself to do the healing that you need to do. If what you want is not compatible with who you are at this time, that is the healing that you should focus on. If let's say that you want to be the most abundant, prosperous person ever, yet you at this point are very negative and fearful and anxious around the energy of money, then there needs to be some healing done in the present moment to align you with that um, ideal that you want. Only then it will come through. All right, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I love you and I hope this makes sense and I hope that this helps. Have your hermit time, have your healing time and know that something very unexpected but very positive is coming here, okay? I don't know if maybe there's a blue moon happening at this time. I have no clue. But it could be a possibility. Anyway, <laughs> I love you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope it serves you. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.